Our Lady of Guadalupe Province, centered in the U.S. state of New Mexico, is the newest of the American provinces, established only 30 years ago in a well-discerned separation from the Cincinnati province of St. John the Baptist, which formed us and gave us birth in 1985. Yet it covers much of the area that is the oldest part of the continental United States, which was evangelized by Spanish Franciscans in the 17th century to establish missions among the native Pueblo and Apache peoples and to accompany the Spanish explorers. Many of these missions are still operative today. The historic Via Real de Santa Fe de San Francisco is now our state capital. So we are the oldest and the newest Franciscan presence in the United States, and presently the smallest too with only about 70 professed friars. We inhabit some of the most scenic and historic parts of the United States, which was once New Spain, later Mexico, and now the United States. Although we are the state of New Mexico, some humorously say we are neither new nor Mexico. Our unique gift to the local church is our presence on the edge and among the poor inhabitants and native peoples of New Mexico. We hold the history of the church here and tend to be much loved by the people. At least I hope so. Our challenge is similar to all provinces in that we are aging and decreasing in numbers, although a good number of younger friars have joined us from nearby Mexico to give us some youth and vitality. Our greatest hope is that we can be true to the gospel, true and faithful witnesses to Jesus in an increasingly secular United States, and true to our dear Francis in his love of lady poverty and all those on the edge and margins of an often violent and materialistic society. We are perhaps in a greater position of flexibility and capacity to change precisely because of our smaller numbers and our ethnic mixture, many Anglos and many Hispanics working together. And even more, because we do not have any major institutions that we must maintain or staff, we are free to try new things.
in an age which so idealizes money, power, prestige, and military power, it is so important that Franciscans from the powerful and rich country of America talk and present a clear alternative to consumerism and violence. We hope and trust that we are doing this in a very small part of our big world and our big country in the beautiful desert southwest of the United States of America, in the state of New Mexico, which is neither new nor Mexico. <laughs>